Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, welcome you back to Lovecraft Country and Cultist Simulator, the Lantern Inspirant Run, and yes, this is of course, since it was promised to be the Chancellor Palpatine Run, with me being a little more on my evil side than my usual runs, I actually looked up the name of Palpatine, his first name anyways, it's Chev, but no wonder he took over the galaxy, probably was teased horribly as a child, Anyways, back to what Chev's currently doing right now. As you can see, we've gone through the first stage of the, uh, the typical aspirant run. We built up our health. We built up our passion. Reason we'll need to concentrate a little bit more on that before we actually dive into anything metaphysical. We have exactly one piece of oops, sorry, one piece of lore which we're currently using right now. The level two lantern one because we chose to study with the uh, with our reason the document given to us by the old man simply so we can have that level two lore and be able to access the dream right away. You can change this temptation any time before you lock it in with a dedication. So, but we're, since we're doing a standard lantern run, we're going to keep the uh, temptation as it is 10 funds, not doing bad. We still have about as much money as we were started with after the, after the, the will gave us after we uh, got the money from the old man's will. And now we're currently seeing what we're going to be doing next. There's a season of silence coming up, the fant a fascination trap currently active. And you know, so we have three verbs active, which is work, sleep, and I'll study, I like to call it think sometimes, but anyways, and we currently broke down the two pieces of lore you get from the packet. Now we have Direction to Moreland's, which is a dealer of rare sort of books. We, of course, we spent a lot of time in there in previous runs, but you might be surprised we do it this time around. Uh, the notes and a possible collaborator, that'll give us the person. Now this unlocks the travel verb, this unlocks the talk verb, but... Keep in mind, we've managed to avoid getting any police up here so far. So, yeah, we have absolutely... Hang on a second. Sorry, I had to adjust the window there. Absolutely um, no interest in the police whatsoever. Because, again, it becomes slightly annoying. We just have to keep track of the reputation cards we're going to be generating while we do this. And, actually, the collaborator one will get you um, reputation cards real fast. Because you start off with a mystique to find when you find the first person and if you start your cult you get a notoriety right away so we're going to try to well first of all we need to uh, exercise the potty because again and pause standard move for the moment again we've um i was concentrating on limitation health i completely forgot we'd already upgraded it to level three so there's no point in doing any more vitality a lesson learned until such a time Oh, they all came true at once. Wow. Anyways, such a time that we have two points of forge lore. Now, can you use two points of heart lore if you're doing the dancer run? But I prefer forge lore as it gives you the more sculpted body that allows you to uh, beat the, to have 10% chance of beating someone to death. Anyways, the bleached way. Color exists only where there is light, and the wood is the place where light does not walk. In the dream, I close my eyes and walk, stumbling, bruising my feet and knees. Now, quick note about where light does not walk. The Mansis Edge is known as the wood. The wood is actually the barrier between chaos, the um, primal chaos, the void, the nothing which all things are born, and the Mansis, which is where what the light within the center of all creation creates. In other words, the light gives it form within the chaos, but at the edge of the two is where the wood is. And it's not really a wood. It's just the way our brain processes that sort of higher level information. It has to find an analog. So the wild to us is usually the woods, especially if you're in North America or Northern Europe. It's a strange place where the verdant forces of life and exist that both bring life and, of course, the possibility of death, the predators. As the last the undergrowth before me goes too thick to pass, when I open my eyes, I'm adrift in the black trees. Shadows flitter. My feet will in the back place back. Now, okay, so we've got the Watchman's Secret back. We've got the Passion and, of course, Buzzing in the Brain, which would, can become a fascination if you're allowed to go fast enough. You might be able to consume it. Now, that's 59 seconds. The trap's going to, yeah, we'll be fine, though. We don't have to worry too much about it. And Way of the Wood. Learn the path of the wood. The tangled darkness grows in the mansis. Now, what this is about learning, by the way, is that metaphysically dream walking is that you have to find landmarks to, to essentially find a place within primal chaos. If you think about it, chaos, trying to find a single point in chaos the void itself requires you to have a reference point both of where you start and where you want to go and then you have to find a path between the two to be able to go back and forth to access the potential okay so we got our uh we got our, our um oh god somebody's making a mess here we've got our daily daily funds work now the thing is if you'll notice 
when we do for this level three, it takes about 45 seconds to produce one fund. Of course, we consume one fund in 60 seconds, so I have to keep that in mind. Now, normally from this point, what I do is I get to Moreland, right? And then I just start, I got to the office job and deal with deal with our obnoxious boss there because I just start buying books like crazy. But this time we're gonna do something a little different. I mean, we all know Mr. Palpatine's going to take well to the uh, darker elements of society. So let's get that started. First of all, we will need the directions to Moreland in order to open up the top, open up the travel verb, which is going to be pretty essential. So we will use this, the directions to Moreland shop are cryptic. When one deals in this kind of books, my course never studied, one must be circumstance. So we go through whatever scavenger hunt is required by to do so. Now, while we're here, we can either pop in our fatigue, our health back in in order to get um, another Oof, we're gonna have a lot here get our health back get it back in 30 seconds instead of 60 but considering how much health we have now that is not really a major priority so what i'm probably gonna end up doing god so much vitality probably end up doing is getting a little more cautious about how we do this especially when we when we're about to engage more shady deals so to speak okay so first things first what we want to do is we want to get to the way of the wood and we want to yes let's consume a passion now I pass between the scar-barked trees. The moon passes behind the branches and through her fingers remain in my hair. I am stumbling over roots now. It is tempting to drop all fours to avoid the low branches. Pale wings move deep in the night. It's the domain of the moth, the chaos entity. Of course, you, we are familiar with that. As you do know, it's one of my one of the favorite cults because it's so versatile. You know, chaos does technically everything. So, yeah. So we need the passion order to do so. And it may seem kind of strange. The dropping to full fours, by the way, is a... um. Is a subtle reference to the fact that when you indulge with chaos, the primal essence which he came from, he draws on our animalistic side. He wants to go return back to an animalistic being within the woods, which technically would be one end of the story. You basically become a more primal being and give up your humanity. But anyways, also moon is always a she. Why? Because the moon has the exact same cycle as the menstrual cycle, 28 days. Little facts, you know, there. Since the two cycles were, of course, overlapping in our uh, primordial past, the people who noticed these things attributed it to when that association was created. That's why almost always you will find that. Now, the thing we should also probably not let our work flag simply because there's always a need for money. There we go. And since we won't be using the nap, um, we won't be using the sleep thing to nap so much. It's going to take a little bit, but you know, it takes 45 seconds, like I said, and we will progress fast forward as I'm not able to do anything with all verbs currently disabled and currently in action. All right. First of all, health goes back to normal. What are we doing next? Next will be that, which means I'll have to pay attention and be able to shift it. Well, actually, if I get fascination and um, dread, I can get the two to cancel out. Interesting, but I don't think this is going to last 42 seconds long enough. No, but this will turn to fascination and that will be around. And yeah, we'll be able to take care of it. So ironically. All right. So, go. I got to like translate that thing. Okay. So first of all, explore. Now I have a location. I can explore it. So we have an occult scrap, which is a two point secret history layered beneath this one. Okay. So this is actually going to become important. You remember this is how we find our, this is how we find our expeditions. Find the Moreland shop. An elite street, an ill-favored bend in a lesser river, a soft yellow... Depths. There are plenty of rivers, or rather X rivers, in um, England. A lot of them got blocked off or drained away. Nothing more. It's a messy sludge. Yeah, soft yellow light. Light illumination, of course. That's... What we're doing. That is, of course, about information, which information falls under light, aka the lantern. So, yeah, it's appropriate. That... Any Gnostic style mysticism, usually shifting or um, hermetic, also, I'm uh, sorry, the hermetic or mis. The hermetic and Gnostic, which are ironically opposed philosophies, of roots of Western philosophy will use a lamp as a symbol as the illumination of reason, as opposed to the sun, which is the illumination of, illumination of natural, natural wisdom, which is the notion that was created in nature. Well, big on exposition today. Molly, okay, Miss Moreland nods to enter and doesn't rise. I never ask names of my client. She informs me before I have time to introduce myself. Well, in shot, but we will not be doing so. Like I said, this is the point where I usually start indulging, but that's not what I want. What I want is I want to start getting my locations. There are places in the city where I can find extraordinary things if I sift up the clues. In other words, going through the old documents and mysteries and rumors and such, and then finding a location that has mystical potential. 
Now, we've got this one open again. The question is what we're going to do with it. What we're going to do with it is we're going to start studying reason. I need, the world is awash with printed words, even newspapers gain knowledge sometimes. Basically, what this means is that you're going through a lot of mundane information, trying to sort out anything of importance. Basically, I guess you would call it, this would be, this would be Palpatine Twitter scrolling. Although that's become a much worse experience of late. Thank you, Mr. Muck, M Musk, for taking away one of my few enjoyments. I will remember that for the future and seek vengeance. All right, so yeah, we got temporarily. We also managed to get a extra vitality. Yeah, we're not ever gonna get sick in this particular run if I keep doing, well, as long as I keep doing this. Now, again, I will not be making enough money to buy books by doing labor, and that's kind of part of the point. I'm gonna, again, we've still got a little bit to go. Should be safe enough to do this again, but yeah, we're gonna watch the health a little closer as we're going to start chewing through it. All right, keep going. A little bit faster. Okay, so, and we boom! First shot into the Mansis. In the wood. Kind of like that effect they had there of immediately centering us on it. Okay, we can do a peculiar rumor which allows us to get a companion with the cost of a torrent notoriety. It is not what I want. I will want the well. We get a vitality. Oh well. Okay, the effects are a bit better. Not exactly anything important, but entering the wood. Collect. Oh, through the woods. Wait, they've done it separately now. A well in the wood is sacred to the grail in the hour that hungers into the velvet. Chaos always hungers. And the hour that guards the secrets, that would be the velvet. Oh. Right, the velvet is a mist within there, within the uh thing. It is the it is the curtain between chaos and order in which things can manifest from chaos or be consumed. Or it can be consumed to return to chaos. Tonight I approach it heaves the one that always hungers. It heaves with velvet's moss, struggling waves of deep and verdant green, pulsing again and again from its throat. It surges around my calves, throws to my thighs, and this morning I can feel it with me. Basically, chaos gave us gave us a little bit of somebody else's life force. Because remember, it all comes from somewhere. Okay, so what we should do is probably do this. Okay. Again, we will keep running this as much as possible, unless we desperately need to uh, recover our health for whatever reason. I mean, we got like hality for ages at this point. All right, hit it, people. Mm, okay, yep. Secret places continues. Alright, so yeah, this will grab the temptation and swiftly become a uh, restlessness. Another one? Oh dear gods, we have two of them now? They're also right, the restlessness, the dread here. It doesn't turn to fascination, it turns to this. Uh oh. Looks like we will be doing some painting, because the last thing I bloody want. Okay, that's going to be romance, because contentment, which will get rid of one of the, uh, of the uh, issues. One of the. Uh, re Red. Okay. All right. So first things first, we have St. Agnes's Hospital, which is not helpful to us. We're gonna need to keep getting secret histories from inside the Mansus. Eventually, we'll get them. Erud. <laughs> Erudition. Erudition. Oh God! If people have been here since the beginning, know why that's a particular trigger for me. Anyways, I kept pronouncing Erudition. I because it's a word I had read, and never actually. Heard. Now, why we've got another health going, we will be searching out secret places. We want to get all of those other locations that we normally use, like the auction house, if we absolutely need to use it. Unskilled labor, but more importantly, yeah, okay, so yeah, the health's going to start getting a little... Well, it's going to start getting a little stress. It's one of the reasons why I had to create so much of it to begin with get the health going, because if I want to simultaneously without a companion search a city, it burns off a uh, burns off a health. As well, of course, it's my primary job, as you can see. But yeah, we will actually be holding off on this one, because what I want to do is take one of our passion precious... Whoops. Take one of our passion precious card. Passion... Uh, precious passion card. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, boy. Apparently today's a day. And consume it. Anyways. And pause. There we go. You snap back. We have another restlessness, which is great. Fine. It's all fine. Back to normal, since we got a lot of stuff going. A hireling. Now, the hireling would... This is actually important, because I will need hirelings for the next stage. But a hulking fellow is not one that I want. There are the three-pointers I don't really pay attention to. I want the five-pointers, since they basically cost the same. But in the meantime, we do have... We are re-entering the wood... Health has been restored, which is good. Again, we'll be burning. This is why you need the heavy health for this sort of run. 
Looks like Palpatine might be a wizened old man in the future, but it looks like he had a past where he was a bodybuilder. I thought he didn't follow that path rather than destroying the, uh, destroying the uh, galaxy. Okay. Trembling air is still nothing. But I do want to see what this looks like. Through the wood? In the wood, beyond the walls, the man says a jagged rock rears with the petrified remnants of a dancing giant. I trailed my hand over its flank, over the eye signs, and eye signs, of course, being a sign of the uh, watchman, and the lichen, and the crude graffiti of the lesser wood powers, and I felt the forming of the wheel, which has passed. It has passed, but sometimes continues. The wheel being the precursor to one of the gods of, one of the gods of stone, the precursor ones that were overthrown by the gods created by man. Toast, two point, hard influence, toast, tap balls, brisk and well. Second, okay, it doesn't really, ew, this will turn into yet another vitality. This is insane, by the way. <laughs> but we'll pop this buddy out, entering the wood, done that. It's interesting that they've decided to separate it again, again in their choices of uh, what they had done to change since the base game originally came out. Yeah, by the way, the last entry from the developer when I was looking up the release notes was an apology for apparently destroying the game for eight, for over, over two months. Uh, maybe we can get back to exile. Maybe. In the meantime, I'm not holding my breath. Okay, so again, we're going to keep plunging to the Mansis until we bloody well start getting some secret history out of this. And fast forward for a bit, since we don't have anything else really going on. Yeah, the, vital the Vitality Lesson Learned start degrading hard. Oh, that's going to be good, actually. Okay, so assuming there's contentment. Yep, next one will be Dread. We definitely need to get rid of this. Well, when this one comes through, since that we'll have enough time, 37 sectors 53, we will use the uh, contentment to to uh, cancel out the Dread. In the meantime, what do we got? All right. Air addition. Per usual, let's stick these two together and start going for a lesson learned. Else back, and we have yet another restlessness really getting up on us here. Okay, but we have two glimmering, which is good, I suppose. Not really sure what we'll do with them. But again, I can't upgrade passion without getting my uh, grail lore on. But what we can do, we can leave this open. No, we only need to live in 25 seconds. We should be fine. Continue our job. Start building up money very slowly in manual labor, by the way. All right. Basically, I better not be careful. Anyways, we're going to even need the hiring of that, the hireling at that point. Anyways, so next again is that we just keep doing it. So it's the city crowded through if it's by the day, fog wrap rabbit by night. I'll watch this. Keep walk the city, seeking secrets until I can walk no more. Basically, we just take long walks at night. Do 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 do. Another hireling type. What have we got? Shifty woman to get another three-pointer. Useless. Fast a bit. Okay. And back in here. Yep, by random, we were just going to get a two-pointer, which is what we'll use next time. Instead of walking to see if we can't find something of interest. Oop, I should really, however, had uh, looked at it. We'll, we'll, we'll look at that one again at some point. But first things first, let's ditch the dread. Clear my mind. Boom. I remember that I was different before. There you go. Our contentment and our dread will cancel each other out now. Yeah, more and more things are just cut. And there we go, the dread trap. So we cannot allow this to form in the next 60 seconds or so. Yeah, it's would be sufficient to do so. So what we need to do is we need to allow our job 45 seconds to clip the laps and boom, there we are. Steel. Nice strength tracks comment. Not all the comments are compliments. I draw my pay and leave. Basically, there's some peeps who just do not like somebody else succeeding. They believe it. And somebody else's success detracts from their, their own, which, of course, is a stupid. Then there's a zero-sum theory, which has been disproven multiple times in that interactive cooperative structure would work best. All right, so, meanwhile, we continue our finger painting, which is like our, which is the level zero uh, creativity, in my point of view. You know, sometimes it works. Sometimes you have Jason, Jackson, Pollock. Most times you have something you put in the refrigerator. There you go. 
Boom. We need another one of those. Or if you want to upgrade our reason. We need two of them. Anyways, but we just keep studying. Basically, we're going for our GED. There you go. <laughs> and boom. Okay, so again, just a long walk. That's all, all we got out of it. Put the health back so we can keep track of things. And let's see if we can find this scrap. Boom, there you go. And then, of course, we'll be getting another one from... We'll be getting, hopefully, something from Dreaming. Right, so. My sun still moves, the wind still walks, my journals are the labyrinth clue. Yep. Basically, we just cancel Dread out with contentment. Just had a good night, that's all. Meanwhile... Boom. In the wood, and the path is, by, is walked with re, with passion. Passion, of course, is the fuel of dreams. Hmm. Okay, we're having yet another dread. Wow. Another dread trap. Wow. Just keeps going. Definitely trying to kill us, that's for sure. Oh, come on. We'll, we'll beat this depression. I will have happy thoughts for days. All right, yep. Containment. We got a content another contentment card right off the bat. All right, cool. I can work with that. All right, so Glimmering goes back over here. Contentment will stay here. Don't know. We will not, however, last long enough to be useful. Oh, well. It's just a thing. All right. Meanwhile, we'll have to keep this slot open to be able to do the uh, passion dreaming. Oh, boy. Yep, there it goes. Like, hunger grows in my brain. Hunger for knowledge and invisible arts in my brain. Yeah, it's kind of disgusting how that gets worked off, too. All right. Another addition. And boom. Then we'll have level two now, uh, scholarship shortly. In the meantime, we now move towards... There we go. More painting. More finger painting therapy. We will not have that contentment long enough to be able to cancel it out. And yet another dread trap is coming. A second here. Short burst when I'm doing something a little bit. Uh, see what's this one on? Clive and Hero Limited. Hmm. Not yet. I know specifically which one I want here, and we don't have another slot. So what I'm gonna do is we want to take a walk, and that is what we will do. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what do we got here? Okay, we're gonna find a spot. Okay, so we find the the Exodus Club, a cabaret with occult repute. We've been all through that with the dancer DLC one. But yes, we've got the sta standard location. The auction house should be next. Which we will immediately begin searching the city again. Okay, so, seeing the brain, the well, God, getting the random draws easily, but let's check this one out, it's the Grail 2.1. The well in the wood is never dry, but is never clear. One night it might heave with crawling roots, another it will pulse of bright moss, and nights at the full moon its waters are choked with a fat dappled body of moss. Last night I saw it brimming with the dark and vicious blood. Grail. Grail dealt in the shroud, drifts in service to glut the Grail matter. Yeah, the Grail is, of course, the cosmic womb. It is, of course at the center of chaos and order as the potential of order. The potential of chaos is brought into fruition by order. So if you ever wanted to wonder what the great right means by dropping a dropping a blade into a, into a chalice, yeah, that's just an exp a, a symbolic expression of the union of the masculine and feminine within creation, AKA, yes, it's sex magic. Anyways. <laughs> Which is something we've gone over on this for some time, because if you do anything but the most aesthetic of hermetic uh, studies, you're going to have the concept of uh, unions of powers through expressed through a sexual manner. Okay, so we have the cops coming. We have no reputation cards. Overlooked place. We'll get that. And after we get the last part, we'll start getting the streets, which are an interesting one. The streets and sunlight and then moonlight. Yep, there it is. The auction house. Now that one will become useful later. In the meantime, we don't have a card for that, so we continue. 
Now, obviously, I can't with the uh, reputation with the police coming up. I can't use my uh, can't go looking for future cultists, which of course I could send in my place to walk the city for me because that is what minions are for. Okay, Ooh. three, five. Oh, they're good, but I need a particular. I need, I need to get the uh, one particular. This oh, we could use Carter and Limited with that. What does Carter and Limited do, anyways? Gotta remember, I don't have all this at my fingertips, so I have to double check. Under do do, do volts. Carter gives me yeah. I gotta double check that. Hmm, nothing big. Exactly one. I could use her to get through that, but I get exactly a four-point tool for... Um, and I get the Vital Pigment, which allowed me to make an eight-point tool of a Great of Grail, which isn't... Just we're not doing a Grail run isn't super useful. It also, unfortunately, gets me a Notoriety card, which, again, we cannot use when we have the police function. Police ad looking for us. Anyways, let's see. We've got another one. Erdition, and Boom. Let's break this one out and bring us to level two reason. Okay. All right. The great thing about reason I don't use, by the way, the painting cards. I do not know if it gets rid of the restlessness. Oh, we sold the painting. Found a customer. Hang it in the spare bedroom and probably never look at it again. But we still get runs, which, of course, is useful. Helps keep us out of the poor house because we're still not getting there. Now, we could... Actually, until we get the reason done, there's no point in getting Moreland, because it's tempting to go just to check out Moreland and use it for a couple of books to be able to study. But right now, I'm going to need the study verb to bring reason up to level three, which is going to take a while. Okay, plus a shit ton of glimmering. There we go. Yeah, this is going to get pretty clear pretty shortly. Do, 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 do. Fashion goes back over here, here, and here. Keep me track of things. And what else do we got? Okay, so at this point, yeah, we don't have to worry about anything. We can just go back to our job. Wanna, cops are looking for us. You just want to blend in, so to speak. Hmm. Hmm. Fast forward while we're doing it. No reason, no, no reason not to, to be deal with small details at this point. Yep, all those precious influences are vanishing. All right. With your rumor. Ha! No. Again. Die. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll get him eventually. Give me the secret histories. Damn it. Lock of the draw. I gotta get it eventually. Yep, there's him, Gumshoe. What are we looking at here? Restlessness again, and another vitality. Okay, so. One and two. Knowledge is a city wall built stone by stone, but what waits in the darkness beyond the walls? What we need a fortress, except we had something to fear. Yes, because dealing with primal chaos ain't um, easy on the mind. You've literally got to deal with the fact that you are a temporary phenomenon within a larger universe. And some people can't take that. Sometimes people can't take that they're a small part of something infinite, feel diminished by it. That's actually part of what cosmic horror is all about. Is some people looking upon the great gods and forces that um, are heedless of human experience and knowledge and losing it because they are the center of the world. Kind of a, it can, the more, the more, the less flexible the mind, the harder it hits. Anyway, so, I don't have to worry. It's going to be a while for you to do that. We still have plenty of time to continue our lovely mindless labor. Oh, and I definitely do not want to leave this idle. Keep going. We'll eventually get one of those seats. We'll eventually get what we're looking for. The overlook place, and it should be the streets of moonlight. Yep. Now, this gives you a bunch of random influences and such that can include dread, so I don't like playing around with it. Oof. Look at that, our health starting to become fatigued all the time, which is what I was concerned about. But, again, we'll get there. Oof, pause. Oof, contentment and vitality. Interesting. No, well, there you go. Put it over one place. 
Come on, give me the two point. Yes, it's called scrap. That's what I need. Because I definitely need to get this is what I'm looking for. But yeah, we'll look at this. I walked in the wood last night, and the scissors worked in the distance, and the furred things crammed my mouth and swarmed my ears, and I felt the otter to drop to wolf floors, remember what I was saying about that, and nose to the boots, but I remembered that I walk upright by day, and the fire and steel and words, and I found where the velvet had concealed a secret on a tree bark beneath the moss. I read it, and with the tips of my fingers, I think I can now write it in full. So, first thing we do, boom, see if we can find the little vaults that I am looking for. In the meantime, okay, our passion's recovered, which is good. Basically means that I should you know, definitely keep going. Not until we get all of it. And I mean all level two and all level four. Okay. You would fast forward at this point. There it is. There's the restlessness, which means we're gonna have to keep this one empty for a bit. That's fine. That's just fine. Do 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 do. We can just take a little time off. All right, so I have, done, I have reordered the boundaries of my ignorance. Yes, true knowledge is knowing that we know so little. But it basically means that we're going to have to keep doing the same thing until we get to the level. We are currently at level two. We want to get to level three. Maybe a little bit of a pain, but we can pull it off. All right, so there's the restlessness again. Throw the passion card. And you see, we need all of these cards before we build it up in the beginning to that. Because if I didn't have all the health and passion cards I currently do, I cannot be multitasking quite like this. Sorry, if you're going to approach magic, you need to work on yourself. Because you will be the vessel of those powers. And if you are weak, those power that power will shatter you. Look at it, though. I came to the Temple of the Wheel, that high and jagged rock, that memorial to dead gods, those who take their own lives, sometimes first cast themselves from this peak and stream. I found another sleeping soul scratching at the signs of the eye in the lake in its path of its peak. I do not recall what passed between us, but I will recognize her face in the waking world. This is why... Uh, it's also considered one point in moth influence if you ever need to use it or anything. This is why it, it will find you a companion. Essentially, you see that companion, this is actually useful. Excellent. This is one of the two that I need desperately, but I require I will require a five edge or a five moth hireling, which means we need to start looking for that hireling. What do we got here? Turn the wood again. We'll just keep going because again we need to get as many of those secret histories as possible. There we go. Back into the back into the void. Gum shoes out again, and next will be fascination. Keep that in mind. Alright. Another overlooked place. It's gonna be the streets again. Is it not? Yep. Strange streets by moonlight. This location doesn't have any usefulness. But take the health. But again, find me the companion that I need. The temporary hireling, not the cultist, because hiring is actually well, that doesn't actually trigger the cops. Oh, we got another one, which is good. That will speed things along greatly. Okay, so we 29 seconds, so I might as well I just get the third one here. That will speed us up a bit. Also, whenever the principal lantern sheds its lights, I may crawl additional scraps. Basically, you leak more of the power of knowledge through your head. Simultaneously, we will continue getting in the normal way. That gives us three to start with, and it'll make it a little faster to get what we're looking for. All right, so this... Uh, I just finished a painting the absolute. It tried to accept me to absolutely no one but me. No one, no one but me. But yeah, you still get contentment from it, and that's what really counts. Art should be about what you excites you. It shouldn't be about like attracting other people. Of course, I don't consider what I'm doing art. By the way, I consider it craft because craft is applied creation, while art is creating. I talk about other people's creations. I guess it, may, it doesn't make me a critic because I'm not actually criti criticizing anything. I'm explaining it. Don't know what that means. Maybe it makes me a guide of sorts. Anyways. Yeah, we should be fine. We're going back to work. All right. Cool. Work. Notice we're decked of nine funds. We're slowly losing ground. Very slowly losing ground on the uh, territory. Oh, we got another contentment from that. Uh, excellent. We can't do much with it, unfortunately. There's the air addition. I'll be here. Alright, so. Uh, well, we should check this out. This one different? 
So many things rise from the well in the woods. Last night it was a swarm of wormy roots. The words clustered and whispered. Perhaps they were welcoming an influx. I found a sleeping soul snared in the roots, and I helped them struggle free. When I wake, they may recall I'm the face as I do theirs. Again, could use that to get a companion, but that gives us notoriety as well. And they are trying to avoid that at the moment. There we go. Okay, so once more, we should just leave this up here where it's easier for me to grab. Once more into the breach. Give me that lovely secret lore history. Secret history lore. Okay, fascination trap active. Nothing. Future. Good. Okay. Yeah, not the most exciting we're doing in the beginning here, but I want to hopefully be able to get this one down if I get the right hireling. Which, speaking of which, I should start paying attention. Ooh, tempting, but it's only a 30% chance of success. If I grab him and I get a hulking brute, that would work. All right, so this one's a bit risky because I could use you for the to get the uh, Martyr and Hero done too, since you're Forge. Okay, it's only going to get me for 20, 120 seconds. Uh, no, I'm gonna have to say we should, we can't go for secondary. We can't risk it really. Okay, so again, it would have been a good if it had been anybody. He's really good companion, the bomber, but. Uh, sigh. Can't have everything go your way. Sometimes you have nothing going your way. Those are the times I really test your character. Uh, fast forward a bit. Alright, so. Again. Let's check the erudition time points. I know it's going a bit slower in the in the, this particular run because before I've been kind of zipping through. Okay, 118, 118. That'll do that. That'll do that. That'll. Okay, so we should be fine. While we get a fourth one, start getting the uh, lessons learned in place. Anyways, get the health fatigue back and do it again. Need that companion, damn it. Who's this? No, just a three, not going to be helpful. Which basically means I was good not to get the bomber because I wouldn't have linked with the uh, three three edge. I need five edge or five um, moth to do this properly. And grabbing her, for all I know, I won't get another moth. I don't get another shifty woman, which is what I need. So yeah, we're just going to keep going until we get what we want. Until we get efficient what we want. Usha is a lot. Hey, the thing is, I can't actually... Do my work again because I have fatigued all of my health, which it happens occasionally. And I will not paint simply because that can bring up Mystique, and Mystique is hard to control. Alright, but at least we have the scrap back. Moth secret. Good. We'll send that out to do we'll send this out to do it our next trip. Anyway, so let's see. Now, we're probably gonna to take a break from doing our walking, simply because we need our health restored. But we will have this one restored to be able to do our regular job so we don't, you know, go broke. Alright, so what do we got coming up next? Another another dread trap. And hopefully we won't pick up any dread. Now note, while some of the Vantis trips will in fact risk getting a negative influence at exactly the wrong time, if you do a random draw, this does not happen in the wood. The wood does not threaten you whatsoever. It just is. Okay, it comes to hand. There we go. Yep, time for you two to combine. Give me my lesson learned. Boom. Got it. Alright, so that's, like I said, we're getting closer to getting a reason to where we want it to be. At level two now, we'll get to level three shortly. And now... Cultism is a lot of reading, studying. You know, it, it can be less than exciting at times. Anyway, so back into the uh, dreamlands, which of course is a canon place in the Lovecraft universe, which is technically where we're going, where the thousand steps of um, where the thousand steps once took you to where you, into the dreamlands in the Lovecraft universe. In this universe, it's the wood. It takes the same place within the mythos. All right. We overlook place. We're going to get another one of those other streets by, by uh, Moonlight. Which is going to be fun if you're playing non serious, but if you're serious, you can't really risk it, unfortunately. But again, pop into here. Oops, I had the scrap, didn't I? Oh well, we might actually get something done. Oh, we're going to the streets. Oh well. 
It's okay. I'll take the time. We can't go. We can't go. And... Yeah, there's illness. Ooh, we'll need a vitality. Shouldn't be an issue, however. Not really an issue. Gods. I do these runs. It tends to go nuts, the uh, vitality. Anyways. Range move by sunlight. Fatigue everywhere. This stacking's not great. All right, so again, we can't do our job because we are too tired to do our job. But we can take the time off to go see if we can find someplace secret. Do, 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 boom. Okay, this gives us our lesson. My mind library. Yep, there we go. Do this again. That's two out of three we'll have. And we should have more than enough time to do the third one of that. And give me a scrap. No. Still not getting a good draws, unfortunately. It's going to slow us down. But sometimes that is what happens. We are slowed down. Now what's this? No, no point in doing the uh, nap. Everything's going to be done pretty fast anyways. Keep diving in. And four seconds from now we can start our job. Yay! Another vitality. All right, so let's do some work. And another vitality. Do, do, do. This takes longer for us to do up our reason than it does the others because there's usually not a air addition floating around to give us assistance. Okay, so suddenly we're feeling much better. Uh, exactly what I want. Now we need to get our the peeps that we need for that job. So let's do that. Let's dabble into the uh, black market of hirelings. Yes, exactly who we need. This is perfect. Swindler. Five moth. They can use that for both of these uh, yeah, both of these expeditions. I'd uh, like to be working with you. Okay. What we need to do is we need to pay them. We have part of the inheritance noon, so this will buy their loyalty for a time. This that out of the way, and boom, continue. Right then. The next, again, need the air addition. You're really lucky with 10% chance of being able to get the second one right away, and boom, we'll be fine. All right, so that goes there, and this goes here. And back into the Dreamlands. Scrap. Now it's starting to rain, of course. Okay. We will probably, however, not be doing that right away, as I will start the expedition shortly. Probably using this one. Okay, so... Yeah, that's a little low. Let's get that rested out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, for the moment. Helps up and running. Okay, might as well, while we're here, just keep plunging into the void. Alright, so. Uh, this will be fine, however. Boom, boom. Now, theoretically, most efficiently, I could have waited until at, till this popped out to put this in now, but it'll be fine. We've got more than enough health right now. And more vitality in order to do it, so once we have it in play, it's going to be fine. Okay, however, even though we're sick, we're forced to go to work. Of course we are. Grail, interesting. Did not see that coming. So now we have a disposable minion, the experienced swindler. What we want to do is we want to have them, first of all, the nonconformist enclave of heteros heterodox, which basically means heretic, sect of a Calvinist offshoot tucked in an odd corner of the city. They belt out hymns and unsuitable guto, gusto in a throat scraping language that is much not like Latin. This is the sister to the knot, by the way. Uh, who essentially worship the divine feminine in its many aspects. In some ways that are terrifying. What we want to do is we're going to have, since we, you know, it's a 70%, we need, this will have exactly one obstacle, which can be done, dealt with, with Moth Blade, the Watchers, Moth Blade, or, um, 
Uh, moth bleed or... Why am I drawing a blank on that? Moth to kill them. Sorry, moth to deceive them. Blade to kill them. Edge to kill them. Or, um, yeah, Grail to seduce them. We can No, we can't actually seduce the nuns, ironically, even though they worship the Grail. Thus, should probably be into that thing. Who knows? But we'll need one fund for one obstacle. As somebody pointed out earlier, I haven't made this particularly clear. But you require one fund for each obstacle. The first ones here are going to have one obstacle require one fund. Members of the congregation are strictly controlled. They may even inherit it. The safest approach is to burgle the minister's residence while he's conducting a service. But the sworn mothers of the congregation guard the place in shifts and they are not easily distracted. So, boom. We'll start that off. And, of course, that immediately becomes an issue because we will get a uh, notoriety. And if we're very unlucky, that notoriety will pull out a cop for us. Because you can't, unfortunately, have that completely under control. Yep, we're fine. All right, so we'll get that last lesson learned, and boom. Okay. Got the normal. We've got an expedition going now. We have glimmering. Okay, I'll consume funds. I can add fund now or send another follower. Hmm. Random encounter means we should cost us two funds, which is more than I really wanted to pay, but we can do that. Okay, so. And another glimmering. Wow. Just all the influences are draining down upon me. Okay, so. In yet another. Oosh. Definitely tying ourselves out there. That should be fine. I mean, we'll still need to build up our money after this, but we should be able to do it. Get away with it. Alright, so, what do we got? Uh, trembling arrows in him. We are not doing well, that sort of thing. But just grab that, grab that, and boom, we're done. We are no longer feeling the feeling under the weather. It'll take us ten seconds before we can get back to the work, unfortunately. Alright, so we're gonna have to may actually Okay, so fascination traps should be okay. Contentment will probably be quite dead by the time it comes around, but let's let the time pass to be able to get our job so we not go completely broke. We've gone through almost half of the inheritance already just to get to this point. Boom. Here you go. And we'll deal with the dread later. Okay, so. Okay, so we have a 70% chance. The writ of entry bears the seal of the highest authority. Do not stand in our way. Hopefully the forger will stand up. Otherwise, we could be in trouble. 70% chance of success, and I don't have anything else to back them up. All right. Okay, finally. Whoops, no, we're not ready for that. We need to get the erudition lesson learned. Boom. Two-point lantern influence as well, if you ever have to generate one for whatever reason. As a lot of them will. Hmm. A lot of. Lantern's not that hard to get for influences, so you really don't have to, uh. There's a lot of effort to do so. Okay, so. Oops, wrong button. Alright, normal. They're stronger and wiser, and I found their blow. And we suppose another blows have found a mark. We failed. 30% chance of failure, which means my um, person I sent out is going to be injured when I get back, which they'll eventually throw a bot. Can form a body, which is not a great thing before they disappear. So that would be a season of sickness we have to worry about, which is not going to happen. In the meantime, let's dip to this. Take our health back. A good nap. Good strong nap, and suddenly, yeah, we're feeling much better now. Eh. So, back into the wood. Might as well get everything we can out of the wood. Okay, then. So, a failure on the first run against that place. Unfortunately, they, the forgery was not good enough, and they have attacked our minion. The question is what we're going to do with that minion. They are injured. And I have no travel transaction. Remember, nope, I must send help or this expedition is going to be over. We have failed for the first time. Our Palpatine's first descent into the into the uh, CD underbelly has failed. All right, so first of all, they are wounded. It's kind of funny. They also reset their time. 
120 seconds. So if I want to try again, I can heal them if I had the talk verb. In order to get the talk verb, however, I need to use uh, use this to do so. So I'll, this is going to be an interesting choice I have to make here. Well, first of all, I automatically fail the since I don't have anyone else to do so. You know, sometimes you just don't get lucky. Put this in place. Three of these. And boom. Exercise the mind. I will grow wiser yet. Knowledge and wisdom are not the same thing. Trust me, a lot of people have learned that one. Okay, so. What to do at this point? We may have to abandon our cons. If we get the cop because we can't get rid of the mystique, then we're just going to have to go to get our cult in place. It's going to be the same long run grind it is before. Unfortunate. Because sometimes, like I said with this one, if, you're, if I'd gotten the world properly with the 70%, she would have gotten me some higher level books and the ones I can purchase for the cost of two funds I can purchase at Moreland's, which takes a while to get through. The alternative is, of course, to form your own gang with using, using your standard cultists. Oh well, they may have to do that simply because I can't afford to pay anyone. And cultists, well, they they just kind of chill around you. All right, so let's get that failed expedition completed. There you go. No one returns. I can attempt the expedition again. I can even reuse this. I can't even reuse the supply. So we do get the fund back, which is good. So and again, we cannot. Yeah, by the time I have the uh, talk verb up and going, they'll be gone anyways. We just have to hope the sickness doesn't pop up, and it doesn't, and that means basically they'll wander off wounded. Oh well, that sucks, but it is a thing. Let's just get the occult scrap dealt with now. You must plan for failure, because failure requires less effort to deal with than, uh-oh, dread's up and running. We got dread from the expedition, and we have a dread trap coming up. We are in for the shits. Unfortunately, we burning went that fun we just got back for a good drunk, a good drink. What we need, although we will of course need somebody to actually run these now. Ah, sometimes I'm too clever for my own good. Anyways, let's get drunk because we need that contentment card in order to cancel out the dread trap. Is this will bring another dread trap, and we do not need to die from a dread trap this early in the game. In the meantime, yep, we're going to take some serious hits for money. We may be forced into that office job whether we like it or not. This is where he really turned to evil. So he's forced to take a desk job to give up his artistic um, desires. Oh, well. Such is the path of evil for most people. Okay. If I'd use that. Oh, gods. Anyway... Too bad I can't pull this out because I've got this. No, that's not, I need a fascination, not that. Anyways, yeah, there we go. Tincture of opium. This will pull it out in 27 seconds. This will give me the glimmering here. Place beyond desire. Something to be learned from the satisfaction of desires occasionally. Occasionally. Meanwhile, back to the dreaming. Oh, yeah, Neil Gamian's uh, thing is up and running. And oh my god, I actually have a study one open. It's been a while. What do I want to do with this is the question. Because we already got level 3 on all 3 of our abilities here. Which basically means that we could theoretically, like I said, go back to the office job and do the standard run for Morelands. Because I was kind of hoping to be able to do an end run around that with the experienced Swindler there. Because that's you can get either of these going. But it's always a risk. It's always a risk involved. Which means we should probably unlock the Collaborator. They have a name, a description, a few tantalizing details, but there are a thousand, thousand faces. Anyway, so we'll get that. We'll get another mystique going. The police aren't up and running yet, and we could get lucky in ditching the reputation, of course. This run has been anything but lucky so far. Let's get the fifth verb unlocked. All right, this is also good. We've got the, one of the best starting tools in the game. Meanwhile, let's see if we find somebody else. No, no, we might get lucky next time. But... We're not going to have a good reputation. Well, actually, they failed us, so I guess to pull the whole Sith, you have failed me for the last time scenario here. All right. So the glimmering and the verb is now up and running, which is good. All right. This again, streets by night. Continue. Go. This is. We just have a problem there because they're supposed to be... Oh, they're here. But yeah, now we have two Mystique up and running. Don't have to worry about that quite yet. Nothing from the painting, unfortunately, but that's to be expected. 
You rarely get it, especially at the level zero. Okay, just get these back over here. And yeah, I guess we get back to our day job for the moment. Hopefully we'll keep us fed again. We'll see if we have to get the bookstore next. And anyways, we study is currently down and out. What do I want to do with it, if anything? Hmm. One thing to do would be if I needed vitality to simply exercise, but yeah, we've reached a point where we have to make a decision what we're going to do. Do I... I think what will happen is we'll let this go by and see if we have another possible good hireling. We also have our cultist, which we don't know who that's going to be. Ooh, five knock actually works for the Mithirium. So I think I'll actually try it. It's a little risky if we blow this. Well, the five knock for the Mithirium, that gives us an eight point winter tool and the pigment for the light tool, which would be good for initiation. Oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna have to do Moreland soon. Let's uh, do. All right, so what we're gonna do is I am going to risk it. Probably gonna be a broke after this point, but then of course we'll simply have to deal with our boss, unfortunately. Uh, size always something. Let's see. And we got this again. Ah, four point. Good, 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 good. I'll look these up. Oops, I should have looked at the thing before. It's rarer. My apologies, we'll tackle it later. Okay, way of the wood. Health's fine. So what do you say? We go that way. Okay, who do we have for our companion? She's Forge, which is, at this point, meh. But I have to, we'd have to recruit her anyways. And again, we're not sure we want to have that much reputation on the, bo on the board right now. Do, 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 do. There we go. Get the funds back. Again, we're going to have to be quicker on that because of what we're doing at the moment. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Yep, it's the cops. Of course it's the cops. So when we get to this point, we're going to have to do the whole super painting thing. Ah, uh, it's all conspiring against us, and I kind of like that. Anyways. The contentment. Okay, so. You, my friend. I want you to go check out the Ethereum. And... Convince the Mithrium to hold secrets. This is basically the Roman Baths in the London, or the Bath, actually. It's unlikely dangerous, but works there to require funds. Okay, so we'll send the entry consultant good with doors because of the actual obstacles of door. 70% chance of going over it again, which is good. But again, I think we're in a bind right now. We are going to have to start the cult. I mean, sorry, and go to the office job. Like I said, this is where he turned. This is where he turned when he had to do. Comet labor. I am the buff comet labor. Kind of just channeling him there. Anyways, what now? Help. Bring the help. Ah. So many cards to organize. So much to do. But yes. He goes there. You go there. Yeah, I don't think taking off 10 seconds is worth not going back into the uh, wood. So, pop that out. Again. It was, it was a good shot. We might be able to do it again here. Or we may not. It's just how these things work. But I do think we have to start kid, stop kidding around and indulge. We only have three funds left. We're going to have to deal with Mr. Alden. You know, basically, we have to get the cult going. We have to just worry about the cops. Because the cops are coming, unfortunately. We need to keep this slot open for the moment to be able to take care of the painting. So we don't have the cops snooping around us or mystique-wise. All right, so we'll need another fund, won't we? Yep, add fund. Get the supplies back if it fails, however, which is good. Good, good. <sighs> deep breath, deep breath. Is I was hoping to be able to do that as kind of the end run around, but again, it's a risk, 70% chance, and this has not been a great time to do that for our, our luck-wise. You can never count on luck. You should never count on luck. Enjoy it if you ever get it, but never ever count on it. There we go. Inspiration. 
You know what? Use that. There you go. Mood piece. And there it is. We managed to make the evidence disappear for a bit. Dread trap is next. Ah, deep breath. <laughs> the beach crow. They are skilled in uncovering hidden ways. We'll probably find the hidden door. Excellent. Light turned over the other one to throw in. Alright, don't need additional funds. Yeah, for all we know, we make money off the painting. I forgot about that. Keep us afloat for a little bit longer, because we're desperately going to need cash soon. Otherwise, you're actually getting to the point where we could suffer hunger. Oof. Definitely bring us to a to a bitter him to a bitter end. Okay then. Snap this back into place. Grab this. Start here, do that. Passion here. Okay. Deep breath. No reason not to keep going in. Alright. So, continue. <laughs> To... How's it going? A road effort. Oh, it's not great, unfortunately. Got a contentment out of it, though. Which is good. Dread trap up next. Alright. Rootless. Dude, God, we have two failures in a row. Oof. Okay. I guess that is what the dark side is telling us. We have to indulge in an office job to continue. Oh, my God. Steve, I feel for you, man. Now I understand why you wanted to make the world burn. Okay, the Mystiques currently leave them in place in order to continue decaying. So, we must find Cleric Work. God, so I was kind of hoping you'd be able to do the, uh, the run I was talking about, but we've had two failures in a row, which pretty much negates the whole thing. Luckily, the funds we got from the painting will let us continue, and we might as well just uh, start grabbing the books from Orleans, doing the usual run. Alright, so, now we have it. Our office job. Can't escape it. And boom, there we go. We're gonna be dealing with our next round, we will be dealing with our boss yet again. Damn it. Too real, too real. Sorry. Oh well. We don't have a okay, this might be a good time to actually consider. Here's gonna we might work with, a companion or a follower, but first we must find them to do a society, solid in order, a cult. Alright, we start the cult up going to because our like I said, if you get lucky in the beginning, you can actually get some decent books and tools using just hirelings. But it does mean that you're kind of... Oh my god, another fund, really? Seriously. Well, at least we got it back from the painting. Steeds. Alright, so there we go. I've begun my work. The authorities have begun taking interest in it. You may be re I must be ready for them. Alright, so there's a notoriety card. we got to keep... We can hold up to... Four reputation cards with our painting, so it's very important that we continue to do this. But what we need to do is we need. All right, so we need. Ah, there it is. Do do do. Well, yes, we need doctrine of. Establish the mirror of glory. A cult side dedicated to understanding of light that comes from a fiercer place. Yep, we are now dedicating ourselves to the evil light of this universe. To the Demiurge, to the Logic, the Lord of Unbending Logic, who keeps humanity imprisoned within a sterile, a sterile world incapable of change. Two point points for that, great. But we should see it by through the wood. Last night I came to the wood to the high jagged rock called the Temple of the Wheel. Its flank patched with the black lichen and ice signs opened like a mouth beneath my hands and I walked through the whispering space between the gods who were stone. The first of the hours are all gone now, but here their voices remain. The wheel, the flint, the tide, the others without names. Go over them if we do lore of the gods, which I desperately want to do, but I cannot get anything during the holiday seasons recorded that's more complicated than Let's Play, unfortunately. But unfortunately, the influence isn't helpful to us now either. Well, you know, it's not the influence's fault, so I'm not going to take it out on it. But. Huh. Okay, so we got this going. Okay, so what is next? Hmm. 
Hmm. That's going okay, Passion. Might as well just keep this going until we can get the next level of lore, obviously. But yes, we've hit a dead end, unfortunately. We must sacrifice ourselves to the gods of commerce. Ugh. We sacrifice somebody else. We are skilled. Yeah, we might still get that one going. This is the last chance we have since it costs an additional fund. I must give of myself. I must give of my reason for the terrible clarity of the Demiurge. We will discover power without end. Without. Well, we're going to need a vitality shortly for the sickness. We will dominate. Mr. Alden, the supervisor of records, has called me to his office with the Regiment of Diligence. I watch the mole in his neck as he talks and talks and talks. At the end of it, I have a promotion. The next promotion is better paid, and the desk stands by the street window. But I work for directly him. Yeah, we know how this goes. At least we got the funds we need to stay alive, you know. And unfortunately, we're going to be stuck in that dead-end loop. Okay, so yeah. Anyways, that will keep that going. And again, once we are through this expedition one or the other, we'll start... Bringing our books back together. Oh, thank God. Fault lines in stone, a surface against pressure. We found it. The hidden door moves. Excellent. 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 Oh, good Lord. Must have a recruit. There you go. Yeah. Good. Furtive truth. And we will look this one up. In my sleep, I came to the high jagged rocks of the temple of the wheel, an hour at tall the temple of the wheel, though the hour of the wheel is long extinct. Another hand has scratched a secret into the black lantern in this flank. Black lanterns. Ugh. I've learned that. Read secret to my memory to preserve for waking when the velvet came from the velvet wood depths and erased it. The velvet is jealous of her secrets. There we go. We should be able to get a lot more expedition possible expeditions. And we will have the cult ready to, uh, to tarry my, my will. We will be creating, of course, the new Sith Order. Okay, so again, dreaming is free, so we can keep going, as long as we have the passion to fuel it. Dreams. Okay, there we go. Alright, we're definitely getting to the end of the episode here. Okay, so again, I do apologize, treasures lie before us. Good. Let's get that expedition out of the way, and then I will be ending the episode. Boom! Oh, forgot to look it up. But yeah, I've done it so many times, I keep forgetting to do this new. But we have the Mirror of Glory as our thing. It's the occult society dedicated to understanding the light that comes from your fierce place. So this means we can start initiating people. Let's initiate her and give her that. That will promote a believer to discipline. Oh, wait, she already is. Never mind. So now we have to decide how we're going to do this. Now, the reputation cards are a bit high. We're going to be continually doing this dance. So let's let this... Mis no, next episode, we're going to let this mystique die off before we start actually engaging and getting additional cultists. Because now I have a 2.4, which is not going to get us very far in a lot of this. We will have this tireling back when he's through. It's going to be a bit. But we should probably... One of the things I want to do is that there is one four-point vault, which only requires a, uh, which only requires talk, which only requires a knock to get through. Hopefully we can get that done while we still have this hireling. And of course, we're going to start buying books so we can afford it. Oh, gods. So yeah, we're back. And for Unfortunately, Sheev has been forced to take on an office job, and this will, of course, drive him mad and lead him towards wanting to dominate and wanting to take over the entire empire. The British Empire, not the Star Wars Empire, but the entire point is behind it. Now we know why she went mad. Naboo didn't have a uh, universal healthcare system or basic income, and therefore he couldn't pursue his art. So he decided to take over the entire empire using mystical arts simply because he could. Anyway, this is Fantastic World saying Brent. Farrell from Lovecraft Country. Hope you enjoyed this. Wasn't the most exciting episode because we we're building up foundations. I did try, like I said, a little un end runaround. If I had managed to grab those books, I'd be in seriously good condition because I could probably get to higher level dreaming, get the other expeditions, and have those in place for the moment. I do have my cult ready. In the meantime, however, we'll be doing, unfortunately, a little bit of a lower vibration run on this, and we'll be getting money from capitalism, buying the books, and getting ourselves up. We need to get our light up to level four for the next... Um, which is pretty easy with the Moreland books in order to get what uh, the next level of dreaming and start getting the more larger expeditions. So yeah, we're starting the cycles. This is the beginning of the end of the fall of all things. Anyway, so I like this, like, share, subscribe. If you like it down below or links to the Gumroad payment platform, become a supporter, get access to additional material, unlock additional material for the episode, for this series that you get to vote on. And of course, if you, even, if you subscribe, hit the notification button and do know that all subscribers will have the opportunity 
to vote on the next series. We just started Sinking City, which is my Wednesday episode, so it's going to be anytime soon. But at the current rate, we uh, I'm not sure how long the game is going to last. I'll have to check to see what it is. Probably at least two more months. But when we do, again, we'll have that vote for the next series, and you can decide what it is. If you have want uh, want series that of a Lovecraftian cosmic horror nature you want me to check out to see if I add them to my list for the vote, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, I will see you next time. Bye. I'd like to thank my Acolyte level supporters whose contributions help this channel grow and hastens the inevitable digital apocalypse and rise of the Dark Lords of content and data.